everyone, today we have a special guest, one of Master Kim's fourth degree black belts, Mr. Pushlin, to show you how to do a proper front kick and ways you can practice at home. Although the front kick, one of our most basic kicks, is taught at the beginning level and reinforced throughout your training, many students still make mistakes regarding this kick. So here's Mr. Pushlin teaching you how to do a proper front kick. Uh, hello, since um, everybody's staying at home, you can't get to a studio. One of the things that I have problems with and uh, trying to relate to students is how to do a good front kick and starting off from basic sitting down on the floor or sitting on a chair and pretty much anywhere where you can extend your legs. Uh, I want to go over that a little bit and hopefully you guys can work on your kick. I'll show you something that you can do at home to show you whether or not you're doing a proper front kick. Okay, well, I see front kicks done this way. They, oh, we have our toes pulled back, but look at how my my feet are they're pointing upwards right so the idea is to kick with the ball of the foot one exercise you can do at home and people that i show this to fix their kick so you want everything extended everything straight pushing your toes all the way forward start off with that okay so if you can't do that part then i know you can't do a good front kick just start off doing this first maybe take a couple minutes here and there and you do this enough times, you'll feel it, right? You're gonna feel it a little bit, but this is the start. If you don't do this part, if you can't do this, you can do a good front kick, okay? After you can get, you're comfortable with this position, all you're gonna do is pull your toes back. Now you're hitting with the ball of the foot. Your toes are back, pull back, without moving your foot upwards. One trick that I want you guys to practice is, I was gonna get weights and just put them on top of your foot if you're pushing up against the weights, then you know your foot's gonna start moving or it's moving already. So now you got the position, you're comfortable with this. Now to test whether or not you're doing a good front kick, something that you have at home, water bottle. So you just put it on your feet, extend your feet up, and there you go. Should not move. So once it's there, it's there. So full, empty, doesn't matter, but just know, as soon as your foot starts coming up, your bottle rolls and then you know that your front kick is getting sloppy right maybe you start off with a couple seconds and work your way up and it should be to the point where it's not uncomfortable right so initially if you can't do this it's going to be uncomfortable you're going to feel it in the back of your legs which you should feel it anyway everything's going to be really tight right so as long as you can do this for a minute two minutes then your front kick's getting better, right? So if you work on something like this, very basic, you're gonna start working on a good front kick. You got a lot of front kicks everywhere, from white belt to third degree black belt. Fix your front kick now, so you don't have to try to fix it as a higher belt. It's uh, kind of disheartening when I see a higher belt with a front kick that looks like this. You can do this at home. You can do it in your backyard. You can do it on your bed. It doesn't matter, it's just somewhere where you can sit. Now we're gonna go to the basic kicking, which is a sitting front kick. You practice, you got your toes pulled back, you can put a water bottle or anything so it doesn't roll back, so you got your good front kick. So now, uh, applications, right? Sitting front kick. I'm not gonna break it all down because if you've been through white belt, you're gonna know this, right? Fingers down. Other part that happens is that people don't bring their knee up, right? They, they don't bring the knee to his chest. Once you get your knee to your chest, then you're gonna pop it, extend, right? So everything should be straight, only toes come back. You should be able to hold this five, 10 seconds, and then come back. And don't forget, you got two legs. Same idea, right? Hands down, knee up to your chest, throw the kick. Sitting front kick, you're going for groin or stomach. Next, sitting high front. Hands still go down, foot planted, up, kicking. You got two legs. Same idea, so plan it, up, kick, right? But make sure that knee comes up to your chest as you pull your toes back and thrust the kick. Another application to your kicking with the ball of the foot is your sitting back kick. And you're not trying to kick up in the air, obviously, it's a sitting back kick, so you're kicking behind you. But the important part I want you to notice and practice is kicking with the ball of your foot. Back, hands down, up, front kick, front kick, and come back. If you notice, I pulled my toes back. One more time, kick, kick, and back. Okay, now as for form when you're doing your front kicks, you should have a little space between your feet. If you're looking at a mirror, um, roll a small ball between your legs, like if you were bowling. Both feet facing the same direction, hands up, 
Now, what you want to do, and people tend not to do this, which you lose some of the power and some extension to your kick. They don't pivot. So look at my front foot. So I turn, my hip pushes forward. Same time, my foot pivots, and I'm using upper body as well. So I'm putting it all together. So this is the first part. For a high stretch, inside, outside, front kick, side kick, roundhouse, heel outside, basically all your kicks. Knee comes up, build your wall. Think about getting your knee up to your elbow. Once it's there, you're gonna thrust it. So the slow motion, right? Right? Knee up, thrust and kick. Back. Always hands up to protect. As soon as you start dropping your hands, that's when you can get kicked and punched in the face. So make sure your hands stay up and back. Same idea, opposite form. You're gonna pivot, front foot turns, hip pushes forward, so you think about you kind of hitting a little bit with your hip, and the front, so like a fake punch. Not extended, but faking. It comes up, and extend your kick. Pay attention to my feet. I don't lift my bottom foot. I don't lift it up. You want it, clamp it. Here, up, yeah, kick, and back. Hey. Okay, now something you can use inside your house, whether it's a table, a chair, your your bed, your mattress. It doesn't have to be super sky high unless you want to practice for height. But something where you can basically rest your feet or your foot. Start off in good form, pivot, it comes up, you're gonna thrust a kick above, and then just hold it. Hold your form. Bottom foot has to pivot, right? If it's pointing towards the chair, you didn't pivot your foot. You should be able to hold this no problem keep the, those toes pulled back foot straight just hold it there want to get a little bit of muscle in your leg press down you got both sides right so you're going to do both sides same idea just hold it thank you mr pushlin for giving us this wonderful lesson and providing us with so many helpful tips now you can practice the front kick at home thank you so much for watching tune in for our next video bye